Hey friends, welcome to Chai and Coaching. Rob here. Today we're talking about scholarships, but scholarships to get to tech and STEM conferences, specifically the Grace Hopper Celebration, the GHC conference. Uh, Rhea has been there, and we're going to talk about how to get the scholarships, not just say, but even get money to go to places which is the best place to get jobs here in America as a student. Join us. <laughs> All right, thanks for tuning in on this video. This is gonna be really fun. Uh, Rhea has also done another video about the GHC and SW conferences, what they're like, what to expect, how to get jobs there. So be sure to check that. We've got links for you above and below. And this one, we're specifically talking about scholarships, how to save or make money, go into these conferences that are very expensive. Rhea, go ahead and introduce yourself again. Hi everyone, um, I'm Rhea Ghosh. I'm working as a PhD student with the Cochlear Implant Processing Lab in the engineering department and my major is computer engineering which is kind of a bridge between CS and electrical so everyone in the engineering field out there should kind of relate and hope this video helps you. Yeah, and yeah, the other video was lots of fun hearing all about these conferences. Sounds like a big party. You're walking yes. away with job offers, but to get there, it costs some money. Yes. So what do these conferences cost, just in general? These conferences, uh, for both for um, uh, both for the GHC and the SWE conferences, they range from the registration itself ranges from about four hundred to six hundred dollars. And if you are a member of SWE, it's a bit cheaper. But then again, it's not something that we students can afford. And then there's travel, then there's stay, which in total might just cost you more than a thousand bucks, which yeah. definitely is not what we want to pay for just to get a job, right? That's why GHC and SWE comes up with wonderful uh, scholarship opportunities every year. And as these conferences are during the October to November timeframe, this is exactly the time when we start applying. And this video is gonna be really helpful if you're really excited about these conferences mm -hmm. and mainly because if you want a job. Yeah, so talk about just what are some of the different ways people can apply and get right. these. So the GHC, the Great Software Celebration Conference is organized by anithaborg.org. Um, they are this huge organization, nonprofit, um, that has been uh, organizing GSC for the past 12 years now mm -hmm. and they have this specific um, scholarship right coming right from them which is the GHC uh, um, 2020 scholars uh, scholarship and I was uh, I had the privilege to become a GHC 2018 scholar it was one of the most um, exciting experiences of all because they paid me for going to the conference how interesting mm -hmm. is that? So the GHC 2020 scholarship has started on January 15th. So you, it's already time to apply and it ends on March 4th. So you have plenty of time, at least more than a month now or almost a month now to apply. And the scholarship is really easy to apply. It's just a one page application, although you need a letter of recommendation from one of your professors. So make sure you have a good connection with the, that one professor who can recommend you to this conference because a good recommendation letter can take you way ahead in this scholarship. Mm -hmm. Also, there are like two um, essays that you have to write for this application and the two questions are really general um, but if you have a good perspective of those questions, you are definitely getting that scholarship. So the first question uh, would, uh, that they're going to ask you is uh, why do you want to go to GHC and uh, what if impact will GHC have on you? So when I was uh, writing this uh, essay, mm -hmm. um, the main idea that I had was that I was doing my research uh, and I really wanted exposure of what is out there in the industry. Mm -hmm. And that motivated me to write a really good short paragraph on why I want to go to GHC because I want to know more about the research in the industry and how I, my work is relevant and how I could contribute and how mm, GHC is going to help me connect with such people. And the next part was what impact would GHC have on me? Well, GHC, as I already mentioned in the previous video, it was the most overwhelming uh, experience in the best possible way, not overwhelming in a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was the impact that GHC had on me and I'm pretty much sure if any one of you is going to go to that conference, you're just going to come out so happy, so motivated. So just express that feeling of you trying to communicate with tons of people and getting um, getting connected with them just show that excitement that hey yeah if i go to ghc uh, then uh, i might improve on my research i might get a, the job of my dreams i might get to meet the best companies and that impact is going to change your career for your entire life 
now you have connections with the best companies what else do you need for mm-hmm. your future right so that's the first uh, question that you should answer just show your excitement i'm pretty much sure that's the only thing they want to see the next question that they're going to ask is uh, how are you going to make an impact on others after coming back from gsc and this is a really interesting question to ask because right now i've not been to gsc how do i know what an impact will i have hmm. but then you have to have that bigger picture of yeah if i go to gsc i would make sure that other people know about gsc and how cool gsc is um how much excitement gsc brings in us um try to make sure that you post uh, just highlight that yes i'll post in every social media i'll try to attract as much as uh, a knowledge about gsc as possible uh, because it actually is uh, what it is because uh, it's not me saying that gsc is cool if you go there you'll just feel you're in the best place ever mm. so just try to show that excitement and um, that's the only thing they're going to want from you so these are the main two essays that you have to write and the application is pretty much simple um, as simple as uploading your resume giving your information answering these two questions and make sure that you have a good letter of recommendation and a professor whom you can trust who will submit your application before march 4th because that is really important too mm. so just have a good connection with the uh, with your advisor or a good professor that you feel and uh, just go for it once you get that scholarship you'll get a 500 dollar stipend free tra- free travel free transportation and what not yeah so they paid for your flight yes they paid for your hotel yes. in a very nice hotel yes i was living at the hyatt that would never imagine yeah. that there was incredible food the whole time yes so you had the 500 dollar stipend that you actually never had to spend yeah. and so you got to leave with 500 dollars dollars i bought a regalia from that i mean who would do that but yeah. yeah so they spoiled you yeah they re- literally spoiled me and moreover there were these after parties where i could actually hang out with these big company folks i mean microsoft people were dancing on the dance floor i was like can i join and they were like yeah bring it on and <laughs> that's how i connected with people Yeah. I would never imagine doing that. I mean, the Snapchat folks were all crazy with live Snapchat filters out there. Mm-hmm. Being to that conference just made me realize there's so much out there to do and I can be relevant yeah. in that community. Yeah. That, that Bali would help you a little bit to yeah, connect, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> Before we talk about other ways to get scholarships, we're going to do our chai question and our chai question is, what conferences do you want to attend in the US? So besides the Grace Hopper or even the SWE the Society of Women Engineers there's lots of other conferences if there's one that you're thinking about or maybe we want us to make a video about leave a comment and that way we can share and learn more about other conferences out there so leave a comment on other conferences that you want to attend as a student here all right so Ria there's other ways just you know hopefully you can get the Grace Hopper conference yes. scholarship because they spoil you right. but if not don't worry there's other options what are right. a couple other ways as i was talking to Rob before the Grace Hopper conference gives out around 700 scholarships per year but then there are about more than 4000 people applying getting into that might be difficult but then there are so many other ways the first way is right from utd itself so there's this club called the women who compute uh, at utd if you check them out online or we'll have the link in the description mm-hmm. uh, you could just go to their uh, website and uh, check out when the next meeting is so go to the next meeting interact with them try to be more active with their club if you love their club and they give out about 10 to 15 scholarships every year to go to GHC so they'll pay for your transportation they'll pay for your stay and you get to go with a group of your choice so if you're going from a GHC scholarship you going alone you have to go out there and meet folks and then you can make your community but if you're going from UTD itself you're going with that group that's more exciting and you you get to do so much more so if you are really interested in this conference Uh, go check the women in, uh, women who compute uh, club and they'll help you out further with the uh, information on how to apply for scholarships from UTD and their applications have not opened yet so their uh, applications usually open mid july ish uh, that's after you know, when the gsc results are out mm-hmm. which would be may 8 so if you apply now for the gsc scholarship and till may 8 you do not get that uh, uh scholarship you can apply to the utd scholarship and they might fund you for that yeah or whatever clubs are at your college right. there's other yes. tech 
engineering uh, women's uh, STEM clubs. So find those at your college, get involved, talk to the officers, and right. they'll have that information too. And so yeah, it, it's not just UTD exclusive. Yes. And the third way to get uh, a scholarship for GHC uh, would be from these big companies itself, like they are um, Facebook, Google, Amazon, and Snapchat, Twitter. They have their own uh, scholarship uh, funds to fund students for GHC. And if you go online or keep checking regularly, even these companies, they bring out their scholarships after the GHC scholarship results. So now, try to check after May 8th uh, with these companies. There, You can just search on Google online scholarships for GHC by Facebook. And the, the application is gonna be really simple, even more simpler than the GHC scholarship. Mm -hmm where you just filling and fill in your information and again there might be an essay only thing you have to do is to show how excited you are to be at GNC because uh, that excitement should reflect on mm -hmm. your writing and that's the only thing they see um, so there's Facebook, there's Google, there's Amazon, there's Snapchat and there's Twitter okay. those are the five main companies uh, that usually give out applications uh, for scholarships uh, to go to GHC and uh, the best part of getting these scholarships would be that you'll be a special guest on their after parties. Mm. I mean, you'll be treated specially and almost equal as an employee if you get these scholarships. Getting a scholarship to go to GHC is really important because you're not going to be able to afford it. But if you get one, it is the best experience ever. Yeah, and be sure to check out the other video because going there, as Rhea shared in the other video, is the best way to get jobs here in America. It's not by applying online, but it's meeting people in person, in the industries, in the companies. That's where relationships, networking, and jobs come from. So Rhea, thanks so much. Uh, yeah, I hope this guide is gonna help you guys out in getting those scholarships to these amazing conferences. Um, you also talked about, it's similar with the SWE and these other conferences as right. well. Even SWE has a student chapter where they sponsor about 10 to 15 students every year to go for the SWE conference. And this year it's gonna be in New Orleans, mm -hmm. uh, which is a pretty interesting place. So if you're really excited to visit a new city, and uh, also get a job and also connect with people. These conferences are just for you. And just for an additional information, the Grace Hopper Celebration Conference is happening in Orlando, Florida. So if you want to go to Universal Studios for free um, and you want to also get your ticket paid for, mm -hmm. go check out the GHC website and apply for the scholarships. I'm pretty much sure you're going to get it. Awesome. Thanks so much, Rhea. If this video is helpful, give a big like and thumbs up to say thanks to Rhea sharing her experience and her wisdom. And don't forget to subscribe to Chinese Coaching because we definitely want to help you guys out in your journey to be successful here in America as internationals. And thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.